Number seven, I'd say outsource. Outsource as much as you can. So this is one of the other things that I wish I'd have had access to. So there's um, sites like Fiverr or Five Squid or People Per Hour. So there's all these Fiverr, I'll give you, I'll put the links in the bottom. So basically you can go onto these websites, you can work with people in all over the world. That, for example, if I need a flyer design or a website design, I can go onto, the, onto Fiverr and say, this is the budget I've got. This is what I want to achieve. Who's going to bid for the work? So people bid for the work. Well, not bid and say, I'll do it for this much, but they say, oh, I can do that. Here's them. Here's and then you say, this is my budget, can you do that? You check out their profile, you check out their reviews, check out the work that they've done before, and you decide who you're gonna work with. And sometimes you'll be working with people in other, you know, on the other side of the world where they're charging you a 10, 10, 10 pound to design a flyer or to do a creative or to do your branding. But rather than thinking, oh, I'm only paying them 10 pounds, Actually, they're not just doing it for you. They're doing it for 50 other people. So, you know, they might be earning like 500 quid a day. And if they're based in the Philippines or, in, or India, they're living like kings. So it's about seeing what else you can do with your time once you alleviate yourself. You can even get them to do data entry stuff, Excel spreadsheets. You can even get them to, to research. Like if you want to research what universities offer dance courses and you want to go and teach or which schools offer off dance, for example. So you can get all these non-essential things that take up your time, that could quite easily take up your time, you can farm them out. Um, crazy things, you know, I, I recently did this thing where we're doing an augmented reality arts and performance trail, and I needed an Arabic sounding voiceover. Um, I went on Fiverr, found this guy that does voiceovers, he's an actor, boom, 12 pounds for me to do it and I worked with him I said oh can you do this this passage a little bit more and sometimes you know you can do a zoom or a skype call and say this is how you want to do it you can direct them so that's another resource I wish I'd have had or actually known about like outsource everything that's can be done by somebody else obviously your creative process about creating the the work is you but anything else if you don't have a team if you don't have a you know, you've not, you've not become an MPO, you've not got an office, you've not got this, but actually you can be a media company just by that, just by your phone. Because if you've got access to the internet, you've got access to people, you've got access to millions of people. And all you need to do is just enhancing your creativity and direct it. So people, you work with people that are interested in the work that you do. Okay, I hope you're getting some value out of this because I'm going on a little bit longer than I thought I would, but I love it. This is, you know, these things are out there for you to learn and for you to take up. But one of the main things that you do, probably, you know, 98% of you are not going to do anything about it. You'll just go back to like, where's my next funding application? Where's my next gig? And Bob, you know, poor me, poor me. You don't have to. There's this great quote by um, this guy, marketer. Zeth Godin, and he talks about, don't wait to be picked, pick yourself. Don't wait for somebody else to approach you, just always be out there doing stuff. And if you don't know how to do it, find somebody else that does. 